All right, let me paint you a picture. You're scrimming, and it's Trios, the IGL, aka in-game leader. He looks at you, and he says, You, tunnel us in. Your heart sinks, sweat sliding down your face. You look at him, and you tell him, I don't know how to tunnel. And just like that, you guys lose the game, you get kicked off the team, your boyfriend leaves you, and now you're stuck in this situation you could have avoided. If only you knew how to tunnel. Yo, what's up guys? Happy Valentine's Day to the beautiful couples. And if you're single, don't worry, I'm here for you. In this video, I want to talk about tunneling. I'm going to go over some different tunnels and explain the pros and cons of each one. Also, when the Chaos Engine goes into effect, these may or may not still be viable tunnels. Alright, so keep that in mind. We'll find out for sure on the 20th. These are all tunnels that I personally use and find effective. That being said, these are going to be pretty basic and practical. So if you're looking for Raider 464 type tunnels, you're in the wrong place, buddy. Okay, I'm going to start off with the original tunnel that you've seen for seasons and seasons. Classic full tunnel. Even though it's been around the longest, it's actually the hardest one to learn. So there's two versions of this tunnel. The first, you go floors, wall, wall. I don't know about console because I wasn't a scrimma in my console days, but on PC, you hold your click to turbo build for the floors and then single click each wall and then rinse and repeat. If you dare hold the click for a millisecond too long, you get a wall in your face and it's the most annoying way to mess up. So practice your timing. The pros, it's fairly easy to learn and master once you get the timing right and it protects your sides above and below. The cons, it's annoying timing to get used to and your front is exposed and your back is exposed if someone gets in your tunnel. The second version is much more difficult, but it offers the most protection. I call it Total Defense. Total Defense. This one is the easiest one to miss pieces on because there's so much movement and flicking. I start from the bottom and do floor, my walls, depending on which side I start from. I do my walls, whether left to right or right to left. Then finally the ceiling and then edit and then rinse and repeat. So floors, walls, ceiling, edit floors, wall, ceiling, edit. This is a tunnel I find myself doing the least because I don't want to dislocate my shoulder. And during your games, if you can position yourself right and have a good layer, you might never have to use this tunnel. But it's the best tunnel for when you're being shot at from the front. The pros, total defense from all sides. Cons, the hardest one to learn and master, potential shoulder pains, and it is heavy on mats. You better have a lot of mats or get ready to run out. The second type of tunnel that I use are these triangle tunnels, which are, personally, they're my favorite. They are light on mats and protect you from all sides besides the front and the back. At any given point, I can also edit the ramp and see what's going on around me. Finally, it's a consistent timing and motion that can just keep me going the whole time. I extend the floor, dip my crosshair to the corner that I'm standing on, and quickly place a wall and then a ramp. And then I extend the floor and then rinse and repeat. If I ever mess up my ramp, just edit and keep going. Also, if you're confident there's nobody to the side of your wall, then get rid of the wall and just go even lighter on your mats with the same level of protection, assuming you made the right judgment call. The pros, it's easy to learn and master, it protects your sides above and below, and it's the best value for materials and protection. The cons, your front is exposed and your back is exposed if someone gets in your tunnel. The third tunnel I find myself using a lot is this diagonal tunnel. Really easy to learn because I can just turbo build the whole time. I do floors, walls, and that's it. Just keep doing that, get my flicks right, that's all there is to it. Just try not to wall yourself and work on your timing, but it's pretty easy to get the hang of. So the pros, it's easy to learn and master, protects your sides above and below, and somewhat your back. It's constant turbo building on PC, and then the cons, it's pretty heavy on mats. Because it's so easy to do, I find myself doing this tunnel instinctively because it's a lot easier to just tunnel holding down my left click and knowing I won't mess up. But it leads me to spending more mats than I should. And finally, the last type of tunnel I use are these floor ramp combinations. Look how simple, so elegant. They're super easy to learn. You can look down the whole time and just work on your ramp timing and that's it. You can go straight or diagonal. Obviously, if you do this recklessly, then people will find angles on you or if you do it for too long, but when you're low on mats and trying to maintain a layer, then you have to be willing to take the risk. Pros, it's easy to learn and master, protects your back mostly, 
and it's the lightest on mats. The cons, you never know when you'll get hit, easy to get knocked down, and it has the most potential for exposed angles. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Maybe you'll win the World Cup. Maybe you'll make a tunnel of love. I don't know. I hope you win the World Cup. There we go. If you have any video suggestions on what you'd like to see, please let me know. I'm kind of slacking on video ideas. But with that being said, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.